Hello guys, I am back with another book review, but before I get into tonight's topic, I would like to send a shout out to Uptown Horror Reviews. Um, if you're not watching Uptown Horror Reviews, you're missing a, a treat. This guy has a very uncanny talent to uh, make you chuckle and laugh while he he talks about the, the dark subject matters of the books that he reviews. So, uh, if you want to, check him out. Uh, you will not be disappointed. He is very consistent and constantly makes great content for his channel. So, there is my good deed for today. Check out Uptown Horror Reviews. You will not be disappointed. Tonight's book I want to be talking about is A Long Time Ago in a Cutting Room Far, Far Away. This is by Paul Hirsch. And uh, if you think you don't know Paul Hirsch, you are sadly mistaken because, as the cover tells us, my 50 years editing Hollywood hits Star Wars, Carrie, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Mission Impossible, and more. And uh, this is this book comes in at 350 pages. pages. It is from Chicago Review Press. And basically, it's Paul Hirsch's life in the movie business. And he has left... An indelible mark in the film industry and uh, the book has many great stories um, there's an extensive chapter on um, his collaboration with George George Lucas when he edited Star Wars and <clears throat> throughout the book is his many collaborations with director Brian De Palma and uh, yeah he an editor is kind of the unsung hero of any film production uh, because as we know, the editing kind of makes or breaks a film. If the editing is bad, the film probably will be bad. But um, in Paul Hirsch's case, most of the stuff that he's done has been very good. And he has celebrated uh, a very, very great career with a lot of great titles under his belt. Um, the writing is really good. And you could tell that he never took anything for granted. Um, he enjoys his career. Uh, he's a he's a loving hu husband, loving father, and he he loves movies, and uh, it's it's prevalent throughout this book. Um, there's a lot of great stories, as I said, and this book is easily um, going to be one of my favorites of 2021. I, I had just finished this uh, about a week ago. And unfortunately, it, I didn't finish it in 2020, so this is going to go in my 2021, uh, the first book I finished this year. And when I do my wrap-up next year, it's going to be way high up there. I I loved every page of this book. I loved every word of it. Uh, if, you, if you're into film, uh, you will get a lot from this, this book. Um, a lot of history, a lot of great, just a lot of great information. And the uh, the book cover that that was him working on Star Wars, and it talks about how he he used the old machines, and later adapted to the nonlinear computer systems. But just a fascinating book. Um, like I said, the editors are unsung heroes of film. We don't really hear about them that much, and we really, really should. And we should celebrate editors a lot more than what we do. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're into films, check this book out. You will not be disappointed. I know I wasn't. And that's it. I don't have uh, much else to say. Uh, maybe if I flip through, I could find something else. But um, I know it doesn't matter. He's an Oscar winner. But uh, some cool photos from just different films he worked on and like I said some of the stories that he has about Brian De Palma are, are really cool he collaborated with him a number of times and I would actually like to see him collaborate with Brian De Palma more uh, I'm not sure if he's in retirement or not the book doesn't really say he's not going to be working on film anymore but yeah Carrie was Carrie was Carrie's like the only horror film he did he actually did um the creep so uh the creep show segment of the crate 
which was probably my favorite of all the creep show things. That's the only time he did that. And he worked with George Romero. That was the only time he, he kind of says throughout the book, he, he's not a big horror fan, which, uh, you know, wasn't my favorite aspect, but, um, yeah, he did Carrie, and Carrie was a masterful piece of uh, cinema. So anyway, yeah, great book. Read it, check it out. It's my highest recommendation. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back shortly with another book review. Take it easy, be safe, and uh, I'll see you soon.